and it gives me the greatest pleasure to introduce to you our president and CEO of the Chicago Foundation for Women, Kay Sujata. Thank you, Pat. Good afternoon. What a year it has been. There have been many challenges, but the Chicago Foundation for Women community rose to meet them in a year of unprecedented activism. We've seen new leaders emerge, mobilizing hundreds of thousands of people to take to the streets. The Young Women's Giving Council at Chicago Foundation for Women bloomed to over 70 women who are turning the tables on advocacy and philanthropy. The 100-Day Fund at CFW supported an amazing array of organizing among young women of color who are taking charge and making change. And HB 40 was signed into law. Th th thank you, Governor Rauner. Today we come together to celebrate the many ways in which people take action, in big ways and small, to create a better region for all of us. Thank you for your activism. But we must remain active in the face of escalating threats to the health, safety, and security of women and girls. In this, one of the most critical moments, a time when half of female-headed households in Illinois are one financial emergency away from falling into poverty. A time when immigrant battered women are not seeking help even in the most dire circumstances for fear of being separated from their children due to deportation or detention. A time when black women live in the fear that their sons won't return home from school or work, the next victim of gun violence. While bearing these burdens, women are the glue holding communities together as breadwinners and caregivers. The future is female. It is, it is also black and brown, trans and queer, immigrant and undocumented. My liberation, our liberation, the liberation of all women is tied with those who are most vulnerable among us. The path forward is clear. When we invest in women and girls, we invest in stronger, more stable communities and a brighter future for all of us. So at Chicago Foundation for Women, we are investing in solutions to the most pressing problems confronting our region. One example is the Englewood Women's Initiative, an investment in economic opportunities for families in a neighborhood that has seen decades of neglect. We built a strategic partnership of agencies working together to strengthen the economic security of low-income women and their families through financial coaching, skills training, domestic violence counseling, and legal assistance. The Englewood Women's Initiative is an investment in a community, but it is also an investment in the future of our region. Among these women may be, and their families may be the next state's attorney, the next mayor, the next governor, the next Dolores Huerta or Alicia Garza, the next leader of a movement. So we must invest in developing new leaders, women who will make Chicago more equitable for the next generation once and for all. So today I am proud to announce that we are launching a new initiative, Willie's Warriors. Thanks to seed funding from the Willie Taplin Barrow Leadership Institute and Museum in partnership with the African American Legacy at the Chicago Community Trust. <laughs> Willie's warriors will carry on the spirit of the late Reverend Willie Barrow, who was no a fierce civil rights leader who was known as the little warrior 
for her passion for racial justice and social change. The program will be the first of its kind in Chicago and will provide time and space for black women leaders to thrive and grow. We are honored and humbled to carry on the remarkable legacy of Reverend Barrow. These new initiatives are a start. We have risen to meet the challenges of this year, but we must keep rising. There is more to be done and we need you. We need you to join us, to be all in and go all out, to channel your passion and energy into action, to move from marches in the streets to developing our communities, to build equitable workplaces, to increase representation in our state houses, to put an end to violence. We cannot wait for someone else. It is our time to act. We must act for ourselves and for all women, for this and future generations. We must act for equity and for equality. Together, we will get there. Thank you. <laughs>